Right, today we are at Aiken State Park in Aiken, South Carolina. And we're going to do something a little bit different with the campground tour. We're going to walk it instead of riding a bicycle because there are only 25 campsites and I think most of them are occupied. So we're just going to take a walk through and see what things look like. We're currently on the main campground road. It is paved and we're about to turn into the campground itself and the road is no longer paved at that point. It is hard packed sand and, and dirt, a little bumpy. And as you can see as we turn in, not very straight. Uh, it, it, it's a very tight road with a large camper. Not a problem with you know, tent camping or a small trailer. But you'll get a good view of the road as we go around this trail. Our first campsite is our camp host, so not available. Okay, so campsite two is a back in. I think we'll find all of these are reasonably flat, but, um, but this one is has a nice tent site in the back. Some nice roots here in the front. Plenty of woods off to the side. These are all very nice wooded sites. Typical state park, fairly isolated, even if they are close together. Uh, you can see from this the, the road is is not level not in very good shape and and very twisted so hard for a big camper to get in but it is doable all right in site three back in fairly easy back in roots in the middle of the driveway but a nice tent pad. And I have been informed by the camp host that this strange wood structure is here because they're getting ready to put 50 amp service into all these campsites which will be really nice. All right, site four is a back in with tree on either side, but it is a short site, so I don't think it would be too hard to get anything in. Nice tent pad. The picnic table is off, you know, shoved off in the woods. And there is a little creek back here behind the campsite. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but that's a little stream back here behind the campsite. The bathhouse is fairly centrally located for everybody. And out in the middle of the loop. Site five, another back in. Pretty hard to turn in, but again, it's a tiny little site, so shouldn't be a problem. I don't know how you get, how you would get a car and any kind of trailer in here, but certainly room for a tent. And site six is occupied the tent and the covered structure. But it's a bigger site, more room to move around. And site seven is occupied with a trailer that 
is about the right size for most of these sites. Site 8 is an easy back in. A little wider than some of the previous ones. Room to get a camper in and put a vehicle beside it. Plenty of room for a tent. I'm looking to see if the creek is in the back. I do not see the creek in the back of this site. All right, site 9 has this large fifth wheel in it. It's a nice size site. Looks pretty easy to get into. Site 10 has another large fifth wheel in it. And again, it's looks pretty easy to get into. is site 10. Site 12 is a pull through. Nice looking site. Easy in. Right, and site 11 another one that's occupied. It's a long site. Easy in, easy back in. Nice open site and lots of room. Looks like a nice site. And site 13. It's a fairly short back end site, but a good bit of room. And we're going around the road towards 14. Has a large fifth wheel in it. It's easy access. It's a back end. It's a straight back end. Makes that nice and easy. 15 is a back end. Looks like a pretty good sized site. Lots of woods back behind it. Or open space behind it before the woods. So an easy back in. Site 16. There's this motorhome in it. It's a back in. Nice size site. It does have a tree right at the corner to make backing in a little more complicated. But it's pretty open on the other side, so I think you could get swung around and backed into it fairly easily. Site 17 is a back in. There is a tree right here at the corner with the sign. It's a nice size site. And we'll go see what is in the woods. It's kind of a narrow site with the trees on either side. Got lots of woods, but fairly open back into the woods. I can see way back in there. It's just a pretty tight turn to to get in, at, at least around the tree and the sign. But I think you could get just about anything around it with a little bit of effort. And site 18 is occupied. As you can see, it's a nice size site with a trailer and two vehicles.
like 19. It's kind of washed out in the middle of the site a little bit. That looks like a nice size site. Once you're in here, the outdoor area is pretty large. but it is for a smaller camper. I don't think the tree or the sign are really a problem to get into this site. All right, site 20 is a back in. Pretty easy access to it. I don't think this tree in the corner is a problem. Uh, fairly small site, a nice outdoor area, and the, the woods are right up against the campsite. Not nearly as open into the woods as some of the sites that we have been through. All right, site 21 is a back in. Nice straight shot to back in. It wouldn't surprise me if the state says it was a pull through since you could make a circle around the tree, but nice easy in. Nice size site. That tree really would get in the way with an awning probably, but otherwise, nice. I hope walking doesn't make this picture so bad that you can't see it. I don't know whether I can stabilize it enough when I get done to make it visible. Site 22 has a decent sized camper in it. Two cars and a golf cart, a nice size site. Twenty-three has a motorhome in it. The back in, an easy back in, and a nice size site. Lots of open space behind the camper. Space twenty-four. Back in, nice big site, lots of room. And 23, 24, and 25 are back out by the, the park road, so they do get a little more traffic than the rest of them, but not a lot of traffic. But this is a nice size site. The tree is not in the way. And 25 is a pull through. Lots of outdoor area. Nice space. And we're right down here at the bathhouse. And as we walk around this turn in the road, it I, I really think if you can drive around the road through the campground, you can probably get into the campsite. The road is worse than the camp than the campsites are as far as getting in and out. But right here at the exit to the campsite is the dump station. And so if you're here for a long time, it's an easy trek with a tank to go dump. It's also very convenient when you leave the campground to go through the dump station right back here onto the road that is the park road that goes their big loop and takes you back out of the campground. So that will conclude our tour of Aiken State Park campgrounds. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you and have a great day.